Hey everyone, this is a really quick step by step video about the WebRTC based live kit agent that I have already covered in depth in this channel. I have approximately created around six videos, but I have seen many of you have commented that either you are not able to get the code properly through your email or you are not able to run the code properly in your system. So that's why I'm just making the video to quickly just show you step by step how to run the codes and where to get all the video and how to see it step by step. This is not going to be an explanatory video again because I have already made all the explanation and theory and how to run it in more depth in those videos. But this is more sort of a guide video that you can use to run the agents. So first thing first, let me just make it a bit small. So first thing, if you come to the channel, you will see a couple of playlists. You should use this playlist, WebRTC based AI agent using live kit. So once you go to the playlist, you will see the six video that I have released so far and all the six videos are in order. So if you ha haven't touched on other videos and you have directly, let's say, went into one of the video, you may have missed the previous explanations and that's why you're facing issues or maybe because of the GitHub code changes that is actually happening very actively on that particular repository. So please watch through all the videos step by step to have a clear understanding. So, so far what I have covered as part of LiveKit agent is how to set up the LiveKit agent uh, using function calling, using RAG, and then we have also created a multimodal agent as well uh, using your camera and web feed. So please go through step by step uh, using this playlist and understand all the concepts. Now, this particular repository where I have kept all the code is under huge developments. Uh, so I'm probably making changes almost every day. So if you are facing issues in running the code, that may be possibly because there is a change in the code base and that you have, have not actually pulled the latest. How do you get access to the code base? Now that has been a problem. I think many of you have said through the comments and I'm really sorry for that if the emails are not triggering. Uh, I'm going to go and check that once I get some time. But for now, what I've done is I have I kept the entire series and all the code base in this particular link. And I'm going to attach this link in this video as well as across all the other videos so that you get the link, uh, you get the code uh, properly. I know it's frustrating when I say that you will get the code for free, but you are not getting the code um, through the email. So I have kept it. Uh, everything in this one and I'm going to update all the videos as I've said and you can again check out the SAS course when you are buying this uh, as well so uh, I I would really recommend you to go to the community check our weekly meetup video first what we are running as part of the SAS to decide whether the course is right for you because this course is a really intensive action-based course so please first make sure that this is right for you and then if it is right for you then go ahead and purchase the code from this link and it's just this price is going to go up as i have said i think in the previous videos as well that's all so if you don't want to buy the course that's absolutely fine just select this zero uh, enter zero here or if you want to donate something you can do that and just buy the code from there and here you will get both the front end code and the back end code for everything that i have covered so far into this playlist so that's that part hopefully should be clear now for you guys now let me go ahead and quickly show you how you can run the code so first thing is you have to download the backend right so the backend will be known as no together web rtc agent so please go ahead and go there and then do a git pull make sure your code is updated so this is the first thing that you have to do because as i said this repository is going through a lot of changes every day so make sure you do that and i'm trying to make it a bit structurized as you can see so hopefully in, in next few days or weeks this will have a better structure but please go ahead and do a git pull first and then you will see this enb example you won't see this dot enb and dot enb backup local this is more sort of my own uh, enb files so you will get this env example file all you have to do is just copy that and paste it and then whatever particular video you are on for example if you are on this video you will see what particular file it is loading the environment from if you are on this particular file or seeing the video where i am showcasing this particular code 
you will be able to see what particular file it is pointing to so this is pointing to dot env dot local so that means the copy that you have made you have to first rename it to env dot local so once you do that then what happens is this particular python code will actually refer to this local file now what you have to do is update all of this um, environment variables or environment configs now i'm going to show you exactly how you're going to do that step by step so please follow along so first thing first you have to come to this cloud.livekey.io and if you have not created a project that will be like you have to sign up and everything i have already covered that in the previous videos please have a look and then you create your project first once you create the project you will get some some kind of dashboard like this you have to come to settings and then go to keys and here you have to create a key if you have not already created a key so please create key give it a name so let's say i'm just going to give it a name webrtc test and i'll click generate once you generate it you get these three three values so what you have to do is just copy this one and come here and update this here same thing with the api key come here and update it and then the secret key copy and update it i'm gonna delete this anyway uh, don't use my one of course just register your one it's completely free by the way now you have to get an open ai api key and update it here you have to get a dibgram api key and update it here so how do you get that you already probably know if it, if not again please go through the video and get an open ai api key and dibgram api key that's what you will need once you do that then you need to enter an webhook url so this is part of where you do function calling so if you go to this code this is doing a bunch of function calling for example here it's calling the webhook url as you can see this is the part this is when you do like the book appointment now one thing you really need to remember is all these functions that i have written is for my crm so this particular function call may not work for you if you are not using the crm that i use which is go high level so if you use any other functions or if you use any other crm you have to update this particular function so my plan is to make it more generic going forward but for now as part of the demos these are all all go high level specific and so if you are using go high level please go ahead and use that if you are not using go high level and you want to use a crm i will also attach the link of my you know affiliate code so if you want to purchase you can use the affiliate code and you get a 30 day free trial with that and i'm gonna help you set up your uh, go high level account with all the forms all the funnels all the automations and everything right that i have in my account i will just give it to you for free so that's not an issue but it's not something that you need to do if you have any other crm or you have any other api you can definitely update it there same goes for all the other functions that you see here the same goes with all the other functions that you see like crm contact loop cup and everything so these are all meant to be running with go high level so if you have any other one please update it there same thing for crm um, and then here in the tts provider use openai do not use 11 labs yet and you do not need to update the 11 lab api key this is something that i am testing out currently and and if i am able to run it successfully i'll create another video how to run this particular agents with 11 labs so for now use openai and you don't need any 11 labs api key or voice id just keep it as it is here you have to update the sip trunk id so what is sip trunk id this is more for your outbound calling agent that i have uh, discussed in i think this particular video uh, this one the ai powered help desk so i have given you step by step instruction how to create an sip trunk id and save it so use it there uh, if you are still not there and you are using some other one you don't need to use a sip trunk id just give some random value here that doesn't matter so because if you're running let's say the first video you do not need an sip trunk id so that's fine human agent phone again if you're running any other agents which doesn't need to do an outbound call you don't need it otherwise you just give the human help desk number that you want the agent to call to it could be your own mobile number as well that's not a problem same thing again for the contact endpoint and calendar id and appointment slot so these are all high level specific endpoint you can just keep this example once for now 
but uh, this function calling wouldn't work if you keep it is something you need to keep in mind and again this api token should be the uh, go high level crm api token so you need to update it now if you do not have all of this just add some example values so that the agent runs properly so your target should be to run the agent properly so please update all of those with some value don't keep it blank now once you have done that your webrtc agent is ready to run so all you have to do is create a python environment and just do pip in install minus r requirement.txt to make sure you have installed all the required modules to run this uh, agents and once you do that then you run python let's say i'm going to test it with this one so you can do with any other one that i have shown you and then just to start please make sure you give the start command at the end otherwise the agent will not be started so once you have started the agent you should see some message that i'm going to show you quickly so this is process initialized message and that means this worker is registered to your live kit server that we have just created make sense the next is you go to the front end part this is the back end your agent is ready it is connected with the live kit server when you clone the front end code you will get something like this and same thing like the last one just do a git pull to make sure you are up to date first and when you are up to date then like the last time you are going to copy this and this time you are going to create dot env file not dot env example file and here all you have to do is come back here to your uh, live git cloud server so just copy this urls here you copy that and take this api key and change that and then secret key and then change that so all you have to do is this and then your front end is ready i hope you are getting it now once you do that what you have to do if you're running it for the first time this is only for the first time you don't have to do it uh, afterwards is you run npm install this will install all the required packages that need this particular front end to run once you do that then run npm run dev and that will start your front end on localhost 3000 now i'm just going to copy this particular url and i'm going to open a incognito window you don't need to do in incognito by the way i'm just doing it because i'm running a bunch of uh, similar uh, front end and that's causing some cache issue because i'm running a lot of front end uh, in 3000 port so that's why i'm using an incognito and once you do that just click get free assistance online hello i'm dela your dental assistant at nolab's dental agency I know if you are the patient or you're representing the patient. So you can see that this particular uh, agent is now working. So it should also hopefully work for you. If you're still facing issue, please come join the community, create some kind of loom video with what issue you're facing and post to the community. I'm sure there will be other members in the community who would be eager to help you. And remember the community will reward you when you help other people so if you have already been able to run this and you can help some other people you will get some points when you help other people and you get likes and as you get points in the community you level up and as you level up you would unlock courses and you get so much other benefits that i'm already planning for the community so that's what i wanted to cover as part of this video if you really like it and got some value, give it a like and again, use this latest link that I'm going to update into all of the videos. So just use the link and download the code and check out the SAS course. Again, that will really help the channel. With that said, I'm going to end the video. Please take care and I'll see you on to the next one. Bye.